I, I think there's a lot of positives to take out of uh, yesterday's performance against Manchester United for Liverpool. You know, the fact that that uh, Firmino was was very very good. The fact that Salas scored two. Um, you know, I, I think that the 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 whole what the approach to the game, the performance away from them, taking away the Crystal Palace performance this season when they played away at Palace. Other than that, it's up there with being their best performance away from home, even though they didn't have the result that they wanted. Um, you're right. I mean, Spurs is going to be a really tough game because if you look at Tottenham this season under Jose Mourinho against the likes of Man City, Arsenal at home, you know, they played a style of football that that, that they, they nullified the opposition and they got the result. They won both those games. They're more than capable, Spurs, of doing the same thing against Liverpool. Liverpool's biggest Achilles heel, and it's not rocket science, is the fact that they've lost their two best best players, or two, definitely one of their best players in, in, in Virgil van Dijk, and also their other best central central defender in Joe Gomez for, for such a long period of time. Add to the mix that Jota's out and has been out for a while, and it's been, been such a cruel blow to them. And I don't, you know, the, the the issue is there as well that clearly Liverpool, like so many other clubs, have been 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 hampered by COVID. The finances are not there like other clubs. They've also got a very strict structure in place, the uh, transfer structure in place. They, I think, if they could, they would go out and buy another centre half. And, and and there's a couple of really really good ones out there that I don't think is necessarily huge amounts of money. I mean, there's talk of Upa Meccano at RB Leipzig, who supposedly only has a 40 million uh, euro or pound buyout clause. I'm not quite sure exactly which one it is. For me, that's that's a, if you look at Virgil van Dijk at 75 million, and I, I know Virgil van Dijk is a phenomenal player, but at the time, was he as good as what he is now or has been? No, no. but he certainly had the potential. Well, he certainly hadn't done it at that level like he is at Liverpool. Uber Meccano has played Champions League football and played really well, played in the Bundesliga, which is a very good competition. Obviously, it's not the same level as the Premier League week in, week out. I mean, yeah, there'd be a lot of people who probably argue that point. Um, but a top, top player, and he's only 20 years old or 21 years old. So I would, if I were Liverpool, I'd be, I'd be snapping a hand off for trying to buy him. But then I'd actually go for his for his for his partner in centre centre central defence at uh, RB Leipzig, Kanate, because I think he's actually better than Upa Makano. So there are opportunities out there. It's just whether or not Liverpool have the capabilities, the means to go and bring those players, bring a player in. Because I think one of the biggest hindrances for Liverpool is is that obviously is that reason that they haven't got two really good fit centre halves playing Fabinho as a centre half. And at times playing Jordan Henderson there, I mean, you're killing your midfield because they're, they're two of your best players in the team. Thiago's been brilliant, but imagine Thiago next to Fabinho with Henderson there in midfield. It'll make all the difference for Liverpool. You know, they've really been hindered by the injuries and the, the, and the inability so far, I might be completely wrong, but at the moment, the inability to find replacements, to bring in extra strength in those positions. <laughs> 